we're off to Chepstow Castle, except we're not, because we've gone the wrong way and we're lost. Satnav says turn round. We're in Chepstow now, we're just coming down towards the castle. Somebody's feeling a lot better. Thank you so much for all your well wishes about the shingles. She's still feeling a little bit dodgy, aren't you, Is? But considerably improved. So we're venturing out today. It's her first day out. Look at that gate. Fancy. God, look at this fence. We've just popped in through the entrance. It's a lovely view through this window here. Have a look. We can, yeah. Hey, look at that bit, Mum. What bit? Look at all those wrinkles where it's not. Oh, yeah, in the water. No, you want to ask Grandad about that because he's done some canoeing and he understands about eddies and vortices. Right now, we're in what used to be the kitchen. Now, apparently, one of these is a door, not quite sure which one, but they used to haul food up from boats in the river into this kitchen. That noisy pigeon up there. This is a little service passage here. And down here, we have a cellar. Let's go and have a look. Look at the roof. And another view of the river. Look at that. They would have kept their wine and beer in here. And again, winched up from boats through there. Here, I do believe, leads to the Great Hall. This incredible wooden door here. Answers here. They used to be part of the main gateway, but then they were replaced by the present ones and they were brought in here. Their age was recently tested by dendrochronology tree ring dating, and they were found to have been made no later than the 1190s. This surprisingly early date makes these the oldest castle doors in Europe. As usual, I've lost everybody I'm with. They don't look very old. Don't look down. It's just me and the birds up here. Whoops. Ah, oh, there's a car park down there. That's where we're parked. By there, there's a tourist information centre. And just over the road, where that brown, beigey brown thing is, that's the museum. And there's the bridge over the river. We're coming into the Martins Tower now. Look at all those floors that would have been. The ceilings have gone now, obviously. The doorways are still there. And the fireplaces. We've also found in this Martins Tower some really old graffiti from, if it's to be believed, 1804. Well, I did catch up with Izzy and my invisible man, but they've scuttled off again, down there. We're heading off into the next section now, through an archway. Going up. Health and safety. It's dangerous to climb on the stonework, yeah, children. They used to throw rotten corpses over the walls. Yeah. With diseases, so they would die of disease. 
Mind you, I suppose they could just pick them up and throw them in the uh, river. Yeah, but then they would have touched them and then they would get That's the true. Heat. So it's flaming arrows, so they're wooden buildings. Oh, can't get up there. You know how Henry the first died? No, I do not. So he went to the toilet in a big hole in the ground and then a Viking was hidden off and stabbed him right at his bottom. Oh dear. And she's off. I think we need to go and have a look in there. Let's go. Where are we? Great Tower. The Great Tower? Yeah, it says so, yeah. The Great Tower is the earliest stone structure in the castle and one of the earliest stone defences in Britain. This secure stronghold had windows only on the safe riverside. I hear seagulls. Oh, I've made myself dizzy doing that. Look at the ground here. It's supposed to be on that bit, but this bit's kind of more fun. Here's a yew tree and an interesting looking sculpture. It looks like it might be kind of falling to bits. It's a knight on horseback. It's been a good day for impressive ancient doors. <laughs> right, which way now? That way. Okay, so this is going to be a quick one. My companions are apparently starving hungry and ready to go. So let's just have a quick look up here. What a surprise. More spiral steps. There's the yew tree. Aha, so I've been through here before. Time to go then, I guess. Off to get some food. I got uh, held up behind a slow moving family with very small children that needed a lot of very close supervision. So I thought I'd pop up here. We're heading up the street now to find some food. Greg's. I think we've got quite a walk ahead. Everyone's after Greg's pasties. I quite like Greg's pasties, so that's okay with me. We're having a bit of a feast here on a bench near the war memorial there. I've got a cheese and onion pasty and a cake and a coffee. Yum yum. What are you having, Izzy? I'm having um, a coke, a sausage roll and a cake. Yum. That's what I'm having. Yummy! This, people, is a very unhealthy after it's called custard slice. And they're very difficult to eat without it all squelching out the sides. Mmm. Not too bad actually. Mmm. Be warned, this product has very bad health issues when mothers get addicted. What's he doing? He found a snack up there. Izzy's been letting the side down here. Look, she uh, didn't have any appetite to eat her cake. I suppose it's because she's still on the end of the shingles. Okay, lunch is all eaten. We're gonna just pop into WH Smith's, which is what Izzy wants to do. WH Smith's. Biggest ever <laughs> I can't get the camera angle. There it is. Basically, it says biggest ever clearance. So it's you a, need to check it out. Yeah, it's a stationers and bookshop, isn't it? The Patio Plan. Oh, that's a bigger than I expected. Never seen an automatic door like that before. Me and Izzy have somewhat different priorities in these sorts of places. I always head straight for the workbook section. <laughs> I don't know if there are any in this one. It might be a bit of a smaller branch, but I'm going to have a look. Are you looking for anything specific, Izzy? No, just looking. Let me have a browse. Yay, I found my favourite section. We were just on the point of leaving this shop when Isabel discovered a whole section of Doctor Who books. Three books. We're heading back to the car now. I think we might go via Tesco's to pick up some stuff for tea. Just trying to find somewhere to park. Somewhere near to park. You'll get your steps up more if you have to walk further. I have no shortage of steps today. 
We're here. at the ranch now it's about quarter past five in the evening I'm about to do some editing and I'm going to end the vlog there thank you so much for hanging out with us again please if you liked the video give it a little like to help the channel to grow subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to follow more of our adventures and I'll see you in the next one goodbye